Well, I find myself in an actively expanding coconut plantation and it's hard not to feel responsible myself because I love coconuts. Through a lifetime of love and now a growing fear for our natural world, it is my mission to explore some of the planet's most breathtaking yet threatened landscapes, all in the name of promoting reforestation. We have all played a part in its destruction and now we all need to play a part in its regeneration. We only have one world and the future of it and all its inhabitants is in our hands. So join me as I seek out spectacular specimens and spruce social change. I am Kit and these are my eco escapades. Hello and welcome back to Copenhagen Island. It is so good to have you here with me and well, once again, my curiosity has got the best of me. There was this piece of forest being cut out for no particular reason. I couldn't understand why. So I had to go and inspect and turns out it's my fault. Oh my goodness, yes. It is a coconut plantation. I am partly responsible for this. This is devastating, devastating news. It's driven by my own. <laughs> Anyone that drinks coconut water knows how delicious it is. And I am not going to not deny that I'm not part of this as well. It's just a shh. Really, a bit sad to start seeing in the uh, in this stage, particularly. Just this constant push into the uh, the native forest is a disappointing thing for sure. With that unfortunate news, I carried on my way into the plantation because I just had to see how far it was going in, and also how quickly it was happening. All right, so we definitely got into an area that the roads are sort of like, this is just where they start ending. So this is kind of as far as the push has come, but very easy for them to just continue, continue pushing in, clearing the forest and replacing it with the, the coconut palms. Here on the map, I am right at the very end there, but it's only gonna to continue to go further into that forest because you can see on the right hand side there, just look. Look on the right hand side of that map. There, so much of that is coconut plantation. Oh, it's just horrible. Just for this one product, so much destruction. So if you think about the amount of products that we consume separately, I mean, how many of you are actually consuming coconuts all the time? Not that many. So this is probably just a supply here and some surrounding islands and stuff. And I can see from here, it's very hard to see, but off on this other hill there, really quite a dense plantation up on the hillside. Um, possibly palm oil, or, but I think from everything that I can see, I'm only seeing coconut palms. Like that's, that's what is going on here. Okay, so yeah, then I came across something I was not expecting. And this is a bit of a bombshell if you are a vegan or a vegetarian. Turns out, Coconut monkeys are a thing. Poor coconut monkey. Okay. You get taken care of, mate. Haven't even got a buddy. That's no fun. A load of this, a smart, intelligent, and very social creature that has been ripped away from its family and forced to work, basically slave labor to pull down these coconuts for us to consume. So it just makes you have to really think, especially when you're traveling, about where your products come from. But yeah, this can't be nice for the vegans to see. Yes, so that was my little adventure into a coconut plantation here on this beautiful island of Koh Phangan. Um, I hope it's just given you a little bit of an insight into the fact that uh, regardless of what we do, we're gonna have a negative impact on the environment somehow. So. The most important thing is we just try and counteract that with a positive one, right? So jump online, do your own research into whatever you want to fund and just make sure that you are actively supporting a reforestation project somewhere. It's so easy, it's so simple, and it's incredibly affordable. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Get involved. If you feel bad about seeing what I'm seeing, it does <laughs> it does help, I'm not going to lie. Get some of those feel-goods. Find some trees. Give back to the environment that we have and continue to just pillage and rape from. 
All right, crew. Have a fantastic whatever time of day it is, you know, wherever location you are. And I will see you somewhere else on this island. Okay, bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.